Okay, this video is for XX Ching Chong XX69, who's uh, looking to improve gym workouts as a striker. Um, you want to you want to buy the book Underground Secrets to Running Faster. That's step one. Um, step two. You want to Google search how to do the torture twist. It's an abdominal exercise featured in the book, Underground Secrets to Faster Running. Right, This is one abdominal exercise. If you do this abdominal exercise every day for the rest of your life, it's going to make you super fast, super strong. Um, it's going to make it so you're harder to knock off the ball and you're going to be burning defenders left and right. That's the torture twist. There's many variations to it. I would learn all the variations. There are some assisted, unassisted, with and without uh, uh, certain um, benches that you can that you can lean back on. So just see see what they're saying about this torture twist. It's a simple abdominal exercise. It's so effective. I bought the bench for the college team. I helped coach this past fall, and then when one of the players, right, one of the players, he busted his uh, he broke a bone in his foot and I'd bring this to practice, or I, I dropped it off at the, uh, the place where we practice and I would bring it out for him and I'd have him do it um, when he was sitting on the sidelines instead of just being stagnant. So that's a torture twist, that'd be my number two. Um, number three, I want you to think of the gym as extensions, as a place that you can do soccer training and not just for weight training. And the three things I want you to spend more time in the gym doing are if your gym has a power plate, if your gym has a sauna, or a cold plunge, or a steam room, right? So anything that's gonna uh, change your temperature. Um, if your gym has Pilates, right? Uh, Pilates, right? There's you could look on Cristiano Ronaldo's Instagram, Pilates, right? That's what he spends a lot of time doing. Well, if your gym's got Pilates and there's a way that um, you could start to learn some Pilates, that'll pay dividends, um, huge dividends on injury prevention, on speed, on control, explosiveness. Uh, so, so we have underground secrets to running faster. That's step one. Or underground secrets to faster running, step one, buy that book. Step two. Um, what the frick did I just say? Underground Secrets to Running. Oh, Torture Twist. That's the ab exercise from Underground Secrets to Running Faster. Then when at your at your gym, so this little change right now, so either before or after, before or after your training, spend some time on the power plate. Even two minutes on a power plate can change your, change your whole life up on a power plate. Um, um, sauna, cold plunge, steam room, uh, Pilates, that's four. Now let's talk about actual gym training. If you're a striker, right, we, we want to bang, we want to bang goals, right? You want to become a savage. Um, well, you, we got to start, we got to start with the foundation. Um, I would buy an O2 trainer. O2 trainer, if you search zero two trainer on Amazon or you go to www.02trainer.com, this is a it's a breathing tool, it's gonna to strengthen your breathing muscles, it's gonna make all of your training um, be more effective, more efficient. When you start to learn belly belly breathing, this is what it teaches, right? This O2 trainer teaches belly breathing and it's it's the it's the most it's probably the most effective and efficient tool that every soccer player should be using and isn't. It's the most underrated soccer training tool because it will improve your composure. It's going to improve um, your 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 breathing economy. If you can if you can control your breathing, right? You take two players who are of equal skill. One's got better breath control, endurance, and stamina. Then the other one, the one who's got better breathing, is gonna is gonna win, right? Because um, they're gonna be more efficient and more effective, 
right? Breathing controls everything. It's the most important thing. It's the most important thing, right? You could go without food and water, whatever, for, for days and weeks. You can't go more than three, three minutes without air. So it's the most important thing. I would start with an O2 trainer and um, over everything, even before that uh, underground secrets to running faster, buy an O2 trainer and I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you won't regret it. Two minutes a day, three minutes a day with an O2 trainer, you won't regret it. Number two, um, warm up. I would uh, take your warm up to the next level. You might not be a professional yet, but you can warm up like a professional soccer player. I'm gonna include some links, and there's, uh, and I want you to start to blend some of these warm ups together. And if you warm up, if you take your warm up to the next level, then the rest of your game will follow. I don't know where we are on the list, but I'm gonna keep it coming. <clears throat> um, skills kick trainer. This is 20 bucks on Amazon. I want you, after you get the O2 trainer, you're gonna get the Skills Kick Trainer. 20 bucks, S-K-L-Z, Skills Kick Trainer. You bring this with you everywhere you go. I'm making ramen, do you want me? Hell yeah. You bring this with you everywhere you go. Um, Muhammad Ali, he trains six days a week, all day. I'm not saying you wanna be the best soccer player in the world, but this is gonna help you get your volume, right? Your pass is gonna improve passing, balance, timing, rhythm, ball striking, left foot, right foot, right? It's gonna improve breathing, awareness, composure. Right, so it's just a fun, addictive way to improve your game everywhere you go. So I want you to bring this everywhere you go and just get a lot of touches on it. You can cram months of training into days or weeks with a simple ball and a rope, or you can make it yourself with a rope, a size one or a size two ball and some duct tape, right? It's just a rope and a ball and then you make a knot for the handle, right? So that's that's a smart, this is a smart training tool. It's smart training, you bring it everywhere. No excuses to not be getting touches in. Uh, that step, I don't know. Um, we have the warm ups, taking your wall to the next level. And then juggling. We'll do juggling, we'll do balance. Um, yeah, okay, so if you're not already spending one minute a day juggling, two minutes a day juggling, three minutes a day juggling, get into the habit, right, develop your juggling practice, and we get your, I want you to get a whole bag, All right, I got a bag over there, if you, there's any seafood restaurants by you that serve, that serve oysters or clams, you call them email them, tell them to set aside for you a couple um, oyster bags that go through a whole bunch every week. They'd be happy to set some aside for you because they just end up in the garbage, right? This is a tennis ball and this is a 2.2 heavy ball. 2.2 heavy ball. It's a reactor ball by Champion Barbell. Can you see that? Champion Barbell. And when you work on a, and you, the light ball is going to improve your precision. The heavy ball is going to improve power. When you work these at the same time, it's going to improve your touch, sharpen your touch. That's going to make you more dangerous on the field. If your first touch is pristine, it's clean, um, you're going to be able to s score a hell of a lot more goals. All right, so I want you to start alternating, right, nice and easy. All right, get into it nice. It's not about how long you can keep it up for. It's about becoming relaxed and composed during juggling. So get into a nice rhythm, and then get your, re your breathing down. Nice rhythm. And then when you drop it, switch to the tennis ball. And then you want to start, just develop a juggling practice. Start to hold a whole bunch of balls in your hand and just go through the rotation. Have fun with it, right? Nice and easy, relax. You drop one, that's okay. You just pick it up and keep going, right? So just by working on your juggling practice at the gym, that's gonna make um, your striker abilities um, improve significantly if you're not already uh, spending some time juggling, right? So just start that juggling practice. 
it's not about it's not about how long you keep it up for but just doing it every day you're gonna get a little bit better every day and no one's no one's juggling with I mean no one's juggling there's no one who's spending time every day juggling tennis ball and heavy balls there's just not I know one person and 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 besides myself so that's two people but uh, so if you want to be the third person I would highly recommend it so that's step I don't know six or seven that we have balance right you go to Cristiano's Cristiano's freaking Instagram there's there's a lot of pictures of him doing one-legged balance on BOSU balls uh, on uh, stability trainers this is a slack block but it doesn't matter this is a slack block from slackbow.com but it doesn't matter which balance trainer you use just that you're spending time on on some of them at the gym there's got to be balanced trainers um, but the, you know this one you could buy just for your home and it works you could do it as a warm-up you could do it as a uh, as a finisher but just getting into the habit of doing one-legged balance right this one you could do a, per, a parallel you could do a perpendicular here you could spend some time juggling right three three ball juggling here um, you could squat down on it oh that's tough um, you could do diagonal right there's a lot of variations so spend some more time either warming up or cooling down uh, doing some one bet one legged balance what else we got okay barrel game you could even do this at the gym if there's an empty or if there's an open room you want me to put your egg in the ramen yeah yeah thank you uh, barrel game right foot this is going to improve your ability to move to juggle with the ball and how that relates to when you get on the field is you could take the ball out of the air, be lot to goal, and start banging, uh, start banging goals, right? Uh, so you go right, right foot first, no bounce. Left foot, no bounce. Alternating feet, no bounce. Right thigh, no bounce. Left thigh, no bounce. Alternating thighs, no bounce. Anything you want, no bounce. I you get the idea. Well, let's finish it off. Right? Anything you want. And that barrel game, man. That's super fun. You could do it almost anywhere where there's a garbage can, hamper, basket, whatever. But the practice of um, juggling while moving forward, um, that's going to help improve your game, help you score more goals. Um, and the last but not least is spending more time playing 1v1 with teammates, family, or friends. Ideally, with a small, you want a small ball, and you could uh, play the cones, right? Before practice. After practice, you put a couple of cones a few yards apart and just practice knocking over each other's cones, right? Defending yours, trying to attack theirs. Um, and that would be my last last suggestion. Um, this is what, these are things that my skills trainer had me do. And then I went from not playing to being the leading goal scorer on the team. Um, 
with more goals than the whole team combined, right? So, and that was 27 years ago. So, um, try these things. Let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks for your time.